welcome to the third video in the playlist on working with inverse functions. In this particular question, we've been given the function of x equals 2x minus 2. We've been asked to express the inverse function f to the power of minus 1 in the form f to the power of minus 1 brackets x. Okay, so I'm going to use exactly the same technique that I've used in the other videos within this particular playlist. And that is to say, well, I've got function of x equals 2x minus 2. But actually, I'm not going to call it function of x. I'm just going to change that to y. It just makes the manipulation of this a little bit easier, because what we want to do is to get x to be the subject of this particular formula. Okay, so if I do that, I'm going to add 2 to both sides, that gives me y plus 2 equals 2x, and then in order to get x on its own, I'm going to divide through by 2, and that's going to give me y plus 2 over 2 equals x. Okay, if you're not sure about how to manipulate formulas like that, then I will put a link through on this particular video to go through to the playlist, and you can have a look at changing the subject of a formula. Okay, so the uh, in order to answer the question, the final part of the method is to change this y to back to x again, and change this x to f minus 1 brackets x and that will actually answer this question so if i just write this out for you that's going to give you f to the power of minus one x equals x plus two over two and that will be the answer to this question so that's the technique to use for that now finally sometimes with these you'll get something like this and it says write down the value of f to the power of minus one minus one f brackets 9. Okay, so what we're doing is, this is a function of 9, so it could be double 9, or it could be half of 9, or something, it's just a function. Um, so this bit here, and this is the inverse function. So what we're basically doing is undoing this function. So if this function is 2, and the inverse function was multiplied by, say, a half, or the inverse function would be a half, so it'd be a half times 2 times 9, which is actually going to be equal to 9. So all these two put together do is undo each other and give you back the original value. Okay, I hope that's been okay for you. Please do have a look at some of the other videos within this particular playlist. Please do add a comment below. I'll always come back to you. Subscribe to the site and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.